Okay, we want to find <clears throat> the volume of the solid when this gray region is revolved about the line x equals negative 1. And we will use the shell method. This curve right here is the graph of 1 over 1 plus x squared, shown from 1 to 4. <clears throat> Here's the axis of revolution. When you use the shell method, your shells are parallel to the axis of revolution. And the formula you want to use is 2 pi times the definite integral from this left-hand endpoint to this right-hand endpoint. Uh, average radius times the height of the shell. Now, the average radius is the dis for every x between 1 and 4. The average radius is the distance from the axis axis of revolution to that x value. And so that distance is x minus a negative 1. x coordinate at the right minus x coordinate at the left. So that's what this x plus 1 is. It's the average radius for this shell that's going to get revolved around the line x equals 1. And 1 over 1 plus x squared is the height of the shell. That's that height right there. So that's what we want to evaluate there. That looks like it's the answer. Here's an exact answer. Looks like it matches. The question is, how did I get from here to here? Well, let's go to board two. So here's that original definite integral. I can break this apart into two fractions, x over x squared plus 1 and 1 over x squared plus 1. And when we evaluate the antiderivative for this piece, we'll use u substitution. u equals x squared plus 1. du equals 2x dx. I need to put a factor of 2 in the numerator, so 1 half out front. And when x equals 1, u equals 2. When x equals 4, u equals 17. The antiderivative of du over u is ln of u. Uh, we're going to evaluate that from 2 to 17. So it's ln of 17 minus ln of 2, which I can collapse into one logarithm. And then move this exponent up top and take the square root of 17 halves. So that's the value of this definite integral right here. Now, for the second definite integral, 2 pi times the antiderivative from 1 to 4, I've got that down here. The antiderivative of 1 over x squared plus 1 is inverse tangent. So that's pretty easy. From 1 to 4, inverse tangent of 4 minus inverse tangent of 1. Substitute those values in, and that's where this came from right here. Okay, so that's an exact value. This is a decimal approximation. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.